Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough. This time we are playing the second scenario from the Angmar Awakened campaign box, and it is the Weather Hills scenario or uh, quest. And we are using uh, the Dunedain deck and the Elves deck that are introduced in the uh, Angmar Awakened Hero expansion with some changes. Uh, I opted to use these starter decks modified because I found playing them together quite pleasing. And uh, let's just first look what the changes I made to the deck. Okay, and here is the Dunedain deck I built uh, based on the starter deck suggested in the Anmar Awakened Hero expansion. So basically, uh, we removed the ends from the deck. I added a lot of different Dunedain supporting cards and Gondor supporting cards. So we have the Captain of Gondor, uh, which is good when you want to boost your attack or defense. And well, this is restricted to be played on a warrior hero. So uh, Aragorn, for example, is a warrior, so we can play it on him. Uh, then we removed a bunch of the L uh, ends and I added different uh, uh, Dunedain uh, allies like the, the Dunedain Hunter which is a zero cost and searches for orcs which is the theme of this scenario so we are trying to search for orcs so hopefully we can grab some eluding <laughs> orcs from the encounter deck with this and uh, there are uh, some, some changes to the deck but not that many, so I won't go into high detail in uh, the changes. Uh, I will post the decklist in the video description if you want to uh, look for a bit clo more closely what changes uh, there are and if you want to build the deck uh, for yourself. Then uh, we'll switch to the elves. Okay, and here are the elves. Uh, one really important ally I like to see early on in this scenario is the Northern Tracker. Well, it's not an elf, but this is a really powerful ally to have in this scenario because there will be a lot of locations uh, in the staging area and this guy will just put progress on all of them when questing, so that helps us to get some of those uh, locations uh, partially quested before we move in to quest them to find more orcs and etc. There are some threat uh, removal cards like Elrond's Council. Uh, the threat will accumulate in this scenario from the treacheries and stuff like that really fast. So uh, I, when I was first playing this scenario, I was uh, threatening out quite fast. So we need some threat removal. Then... Uh, uh, Again, this is based on the starter deck suggested in the Angmar Awakened Hero Box or Hero Expansion. Uh, only thing I removed is the ends basically and added cards here and there. And uh, I won't go into much detail on the decklist, uh, but I will add this decklist also into the video description if you want to check the deck out for yourself. But that's basically all I wanted to say about the decks. I built so let's hop on to the quest okay and uh, we have the quest set up here so we have the hunting the orcs objective in play we have the weather hill top location in play and we have uh, have to oh and we have the orc deck in play a build we uh, using the rules in the campaign guide so uh, Pointing out some uh, situations from the quest. The first weather treachery card revealed each round gains surge. So we need to be mindful of the treacheries we get. So if we get a weather a treachery, we have to search it. That's quite nasty. Uh, then uh, after an active location is, is explored, reveal the top card of the orc deck and resolve its staging as if it was just revealed from the encounter deck. So that is one way to get some orcs. And why do we want to get orcs? We have the hunting for orcs here. So after an enemy is defeated, place one resource token here. 
uh, I will be using these black tokens for all of that, uh, as as well as exhausting parts, so I don't have to uh, exhaust them, uh, and I will save some uh, table space uh, by using that token. Then, um, well, let's return to the card. So one resource token here. Then, if there are at least X resource tokens here, click hunting the orcs and place each resource token that was on it on the savage counter attack, which is on the other side. X is three more than the number of players in the game, so that is five. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, we don't have a goal for questing on this uh, quest card, so we need to uh, flip that, because uh, when we flip to this, we advance to stage 2A, so we will uh, be advancing the quest deck by that. And uh, yeah, well, uh, I decided to have the Dunedain be the first player, so we are ready to begin, so let's get started. Okay, uh, we are ready to start, so let's draw our opening hands for the Dunedain first. So I have three shuffle the decks, and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if we need a mulligan. We get Faramir, Veteran Axe and uh, Ranger Summons, Sword of Numenor, Swarborn Scout and Fornost Bowman. Uh, maybe a bit too many allies to my liking, and no uh, Steward of Gondor, so I'll... Uh, Try my luck, shuffle the deck, and hope to see some better cards for the start. So, quick shuffle, and we'll try again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this will be our hand. Sword of Numenor, Ranger Provisions, Dunedan Hunter, Snowborn Scout, Paramir, and Snowborn Scout. So this actually looks like a good starting hand even without the steward of condor a lot of cheap cards to play so we can uh, make do without the steward of condor then the elves one two three four five six uh galadrim healer elven light atelas elven light galadrim healer and galadrim weaver a bit monotonic hand so i'll do a mulligan for the um, elves to I really want to see one unexpected courage, at least for a silver harp, because we really want to utilize the discarding ability of this deck early on. So, uh, even though the Elven Lights would have been good, I really want to see an attachment to play early on. So, uh, let's see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Galatrim Healer, Tale of Tinuel, Galatrim Weaver, Cleowine, Silver Harp, and Elven Light. So, a much better hand to my liking. So, I'll place my hands over here. And we'll start with the uh, resource space. So, I'll just grab these counters over here. So, it's more easy to put those exhaust counters everywhere. So, we add resources to the Dunedain. We add resources to the Elves. And uh, we'll draw cards so we get uh, Hour of Wrath, which won't be useful early on, but we'll keep that in hand for later. And Erebor Hammersmith, not that useful either. Well, we'll make do with what we got. So, the Dunedain will start... Um, I think we just want to get some bodies on the uh, floor early on. So, um, I will use two, uh, one resource, play a Snowboard Scout. I'll actually use one resource to play the Sword of Numenor on the Paragorn. Then... I'll, I'll uh, roll the dice, play the Dunedain Hunter, search the five, top five cards of the encounter deck, one, two, three, four, five, for an orc. 
unfortunately we didn't find any, so that ally is discarded. That is the risk in this scenario, because there are only a few orcs in the encounter deck. But it is what it is. It only costed us one card to try, and the result, if we would have hit an orc, that way would have been really good. But it is what it is. Uh, we don't have resources to play any more cards because we don't have the leadership resources. We move to planning with the elves. Um, I will use these two resources to play the silver harp. And uh, I will discard a card, exhaust the silver harp to not discard a card. Actually, yeah. So uh, we would have discarded this, but we'll won't discard. I'll add one resource to uh, Glorfindel, and Glorfindel will play the line. And at this point, I really want to search for good cards for the Dunedain. So we will exhaust Glewine to draw one card for the Dunedain. We got another Dunedain Hunter for next round. Uh, we are done with the planning with the Dunedain, so we can try again uh, this round. Okay, uh, that is all of our planning done. We'll go questing. Uh, we are questing. So let's see, uh, we have the Weather Tilltop. Weather Tilltop gets plus one uh, threat for each resource token on it. Post after a Weather Treasure is revealed from the Hunter deck, place one resource token here. So we are uh, questing against one, so we'll just exhaust, exhaust Elwin and Glorfindel to quest for seven. And uh, I think that's enough. Oh yeah, and we actually had to place one here because we played the Snowborn Scout. So we'll see which treachery uh, encounter cards we get. Uh, first is Find Shelter. So, uh, forced after the last time counter is removed from this quest card, each player deals four damage to a hero they control, then plays four time counters on this quest card. I'll use these as time counters. And. Um, Move it over here. And how time counters work, we remove one at the end of the refresh phase. And uh, the second one for the elves is a weather. So when revealed, assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. So it's two. So actually, the uh, Glorfindel will tank those damages. And uh, we add one token here, and that gains search. So it is the mysterious omens. Actually, let's double check because that could be a quest card I forgot to remove. So just a moment. Yeah, uh, I'll just remove that from the game. I forgot to remove it after playing this in quest mode. So we'll draw another one. So Freezing Blast, Doom 2. So the elves get plus 2 do, uh, threat. Uh, when revealed, remove each damage character from the quest. So those two are removed from the quest. Which sucks, because now uh, we are questing uh, Zero again against two. No, uh, we are questing four against two because uh, Eowyn is not uh, uh, damaged. So, uh, yeah, that's everything we do. So we would add two here, but we don't because there is no goal here. So we'll uh, travel to the weathered, top, uh, weathered hilltop. Then uh, we have no enemies, we skip the combat phase, we'll go to the refresh phase, uh, we'll ready up cards, we will add one here, 
and one here. So 33 on both dials. We so move this here and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And of course I forgot to remove one time counter from here. So we'll do that now. Okay. And um, we'll start with the resource base. So I'll add resources on the elves and the Dunedine. We'll draw cards, we get the Ranger Summons, we'll get uh, Hemark River Song, that's good. <clears throat> we know if we are hitting some bad, bad card. Okay, so we start uh, planning with the, uh, with the Elves. So I will just draw the Dunedain one more card, so we get the Honor Guard. And uh, then then we will play what do I want to play? I play Henmark River Song. I will discard a card, use the silver harp to not discard a card, place one resource onto Glorfindel, and Glorfindel will heal one damage. Then, uh, let's see. We'll play. Actually, we we will save this. We don't need the Galatrim healer right away, so I'll discard that, and then I will play the Galatrim weaver. And we will shuffle the top card of our discard pile into our deck. Then uh, we have some choices here. I, uh, I think that's everything I want to play from these guys. Before I'll go to the Dunedain, I will check the top card of the counter deck. In this location, so there's only four cards that may be off, but we'll risk it. So we'll go to the Dunedain, I'll play uh, Dunedain Hunter. So we'll check the top five cards. And we hit on Orc, so that guy stays in play. So we shuffle these back to the counter deck. So finally, an orc we can uh, engage. So let's read this so I played correctly. After Dunedain Hunter and display, search the top five cards of the encounter deck for a non unique enemy and put it into play, engage with you. If no enemy enters play by this effect, discard the Dunedain Hunter, shuffle the encounter deck. So we get a uh, Cornered Orc. Uh, the first time I was playing this, I read, read I was reading the card Concerned Orc, but uh, well, it looks a bit concerned. Uh, so, first, after co Cornered Orc engages you, it makes an immediate attack. So, it engages us, it makes an immediate attack, and um, it hits for two, gets a shadow card, and I will defend with the Snowboard Scout. And attacking enemy gets plus one fight for each damage character you control. Well, it is zero, so it hits for only one damage. And well, that's enough for the snowboard scout, by the way. But at least it stays uh, engaged with us. Now we can also play uh, tactics cards with arm twill, but I don't don't think we need to. Uh, I'll play the Ranger Summon, so this leaves play, and we add this to the Encounter deck. And I'll play it from Amar uh, Halbarad, not Amar Twill. I think we want to also uh, play 
printer provisions. I'll place it under this location. And I will play the honor guard. So we are getting somewhere. But not fast. Okay. That is the uh, planning phase done. We'll go to questing. Uh, elf start questing. So we'll quest it Eowyn, uh, Glorfindel, and the uh, Galadriel Weaver. I'll keep Arwen up just in case. And uh, we are four, seven, eight. And we'll quest with Har Albarazzo 9 versus zero. Encounter card, well, a concert hawk. That is good news. So, nine against two, and make camp. Oh, yeah, and uh, I decided to quest after this one. So, we get make camp. So, search. Characters cannot be healed. Response after make camp is defeated. Each player heals up to three damage from the, a hero they control. Well, that that is not a priority uh, that searches so we get an ancient uh, causeway force an ancient causeway is explored race each player threat by two so that that's bad news so uh, that is five against uh, we were seven eight nine ten five against ten is enough to beat this but i want to get progress here so i'll discard elven light uh, with eowyn and uh, I'll use the Silver Harp. I'm not discarding any more cards this uh, round. Or actually we could just get it discarded because we want to use it next round. Okay. And uh, then uh, let's count. So uh, we are 11 against 5, so 6. This takes 4 and we put five uh, uh one but <laughs> i'm really bad at math today uh, so 11 versus five so six so four here two here so we'll place two progress here this gets removed and this triggers so the ranger provisions triggers at, the, at that location. Each explorer, the first player, adds one resource to each of their heroes' resource pools. So yeah, this goes here. We'll get resources. Then uh, we'll go to the uh, encounter phase. I think yeah. So that was the. West phase done. Uh, before that, actually, we'll travel here. And then we uh, we won't engage anything with these elves and we'll uh, just engage here. So it makes an immediate attack and I'll take it with the honor guard. It attacks for no shadow effect, and we have a defense of one. Uh, we take one damage onto the honor guard. That's okay. Then we'll go to the combat phase. So these guys attack again. And uh, we'll defend with Amar Twil and Halbarad. First Amar Twil, uh, Halbarad. So attacking enemy gets plus one for each damage character you so it is one. So three against two will take one damage. Then this one against Amart will deal one damage to the defending character. Okay. Well, we are getting damaged all around, and we can't heal with the make camp. But we'll hit back. So uh, let's see. These are minus one defense. So we'll defeat the one with the Dunedain Hunter in place one resource here, then we'll defeat the other one with Aragorn and we'll place one here. Oh yeah, and we forgot to do when we completed that, so we would have 
drawn one card from here. So we get the concealed core camp. So I'll actually change it that I will travel the abandoned orc camp. The first player says the encounter. They can disturb out for an orc enemy and well, we'll do that next round. So that came into play. Okay. We are getting somewhere. Uh, that was the combat phase done. We'll go to the refresh phase, so we'll remove uh, exhaust counters. We'll add one threat here, one threat here, and we remove one time counter from here. And this goes to the Dunedain. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we'll start by adding resources. The elves are in good resource situation at the moment. The Dunedain needs some more resources and also some cars to be more effective. Okay. We'll draw cards. We get Fornos Bowman, so this is an unaware card for me, so 3 cost, 1-1-1, one, 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 uh, 3 health, uh, Dunedan Ranger ranged, Fornos Bowman gets plus 1. Um, combat for each enemy engaged with you, so we need some enemies. And we get one for the elves, and it is the Elven Jeweler, so discarding cards uh, to play it cheaper is good, but we have good resources with the elves. Uh, we'll start with the Dunedain. Mm. Let's see what we want to do. Uh, we don't have enough to play Faramir. But next turn we have enough, I think. Do I want to play Snowboard Scott? Maybe I won't play anything. I'll save resources for next round, so we'll skip the planning phase with the Dunedain. We'll go to the Elves, and uh, the Elves will play uh, this from our Discord. We draw a card, Northern Tracker, so this we want to definitely play. So I'll play the Northern Tracker. Then I will discard a card. To draw a card. I'll use the silver hop to not discard a card. I mean, uh, discard a card to gain a resource, and I'll gain a resource to Glorfindel. And Glorfindel will heal Amart's will. Then, uh, do we want to play something? Play the Elven Jeweler, maybe. Uh, maybe we. Uh, let's see, we'll make the Dunedan draw a card. Sneak attack. Um, not useful before we get a Gandalf from the Dunedan deck, but good for later. And. Uh, see I think we'll just uh, discard two cars from our hand play elven jeweler so uh, we are we have a lot of allies I'll just place these a bit more tightly here and uh, That is everything. So we'll go to the quest phase and we'll quest with Eowyn, Glorfindel, Elven Jeweler, Northern Tracker, Clarat, Galadrim Weaver, and Hemart River Song. And we are trying to find shelter. Uh, we will also. Oh yeah, um, let's back up. I just remembered I can't heal. So we'll return that one resource over here and have a 
will actually play this uh, Dwarven Hammersmith also. Because why not? And that guy also quests. So, um... I'll leave. Actually, uh, we'll do it like this. So Arwen also quests. Okay, and uh, no questing on this side. I think the elves are doing a good job in questing. So three, uh, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen against. Two. Oh yeah, and we put one progress onto this one. Mm. Let's see. Okay, we'll get the encounter cards. Concerned orc and. Uh, this is for the elves, so doomed uh, when we'll remove its damage character from the quest, so that is Glorfindel. And doomed 2, 1, 2, 36. So, we are questing against 4. We have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 against 4, which is 7. So two here and enough here to get this done. So this goes in the victory display. This is uh, the export. So raise each player's threat by two. And we reveal the top card of our orc deck. So we get Angmar Marauder. And we raise the, the elves to 38. Dunedain to 36. And we'll take this as the. We'll travel to the concealed orc camp. So travel the first player, says the encounter deck and discard file for an orc enemy. And puts it in the playing gates with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. So I think there's none in the encounter decks. So well, we can check. Well, there's one. Two. Well, there's a couple. So we'll shuffle. Grab one. This is engaged with the first player, so the Dunedain. So this oak makes an immediate attack. And uh, we will defend with Amartya. So uh, it is. It is to attack and attacking enemy gets plus one fight if this attack destroys a character raise your threat by two. Well it's three, so nothing happens. Then we make in, uh, engagement checks, so we'll engage this over here and this over here and we'll defend with Aragorn. No, uh, we'll defend with the honor guard and we'll defend against the first one with mm, Dunedain Hunter. And here we defend with the Erebor Hammer Smith. We deal shadow cards. Start with against the Dunedain Hunter, nothing, so defense of one, uh, that Hunter takes one damage, Honor Guard against the second one, uh, attacking enemy gets plus one fight, plus two instead if the defending character is damaged, uh, so it gets plus two, so this Honor Guard is defeated. Then this one against the Hammer Smiths, uh, not, no shadow effect, and then we'll start dealing damage. So we don't have any 
fighters on this side, but here uh, we'll destroy one with Aragorn and uh, one with Alparad. So these are defeated. We place two here, and uh, when Aragorn defeats the uh, one enemy here, we switch this guy over here. And that is the combat phase done. We'll go to the refresh phase, so we'll remove all these exhaust counters. The elves don't have any cards in hand, so that's concerning. Well, they are discard uh, elves, so maybe we draw something good next round and we raise the threat by one on both dials. So 37 for Dunedain, 39 for the elves. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we forgot to make the elves the first player. So uh, we'll add resources. Elves get uh, one, two, three. Dunedain get uh, one, two, and three. And we get cards. Uh, Galad will healer. Uh, we need to quest this first so we are able to heal. And we get a uh, descendant of kings. So this is really good uh, when we have to fight a lot. So uh, ready X to Nedan character. She patrol access the number of enemies engaged with you. So uh, we could actually quest quite a bit and ready a lot of allies. Okay. Um, let's. See, so I'll play the Elven Light from my discard. We draw a card, Ereborn Hammersmith. We'll uh, gain a resource by discarding this. And I will actually use the Silver Harp here. I will play, oh yeah, uh, the I think the Ereborn Hammersmith took one damage last round, I forgot to mark that. So we'll play another Ereborn Hammersmith and we don't have any attachments in the discard pile. So uh, we'll go to the Dunedain, we don't have that much to play. Mm. Actually, we'll, uh, we'll save the silver harp so we can discard that, so we can play it to draw another card. Protector of Lorien, I think I'll play the Protector of Lorien on Arwen. And uh, and that's... All the elves will play, we'll go to the Dunedain. I think I will play a cheap ally. So we'll put one progress over here. So when Council or Camp is an active location, it gains response. When Council or Camp is explored, place one resource token on the mission objective. And that is explored, and we get one here. Then uh, we'll resolve this one. So it does this flips uh, after savage counter attack it enters play, advance to stage 2A. We do that. Stage 2A when revealed, end the current phase. So, yeah, I think we didn't want to play anything either way. And now we can actually play the Horn of Wrath this round. Okay, so we are in the <coughs> questing phase. Uh, so shuffle the encounter discard pile and the orc deck into the encounter deck. Reveal an orc ambush and um, one horn and add them to the staging area. So orc ambush and Amon horn. And uh, savage counter attack. 
So, boss, after an enemy attack uh, attacks and destroys a character, discard one resource token from the savage counter attack. If there are no resource tokens here, the players lose the game. So, we are, can afford losing four tokens off of this card. Then, uh, each damaged character gets minus one willpower for at the beginning of the quest phase. Either discard one resource token from Savage Counter Attack or reveal an additional encounter card this phase. And we need 10, 20 to pass this, so if the players defeat this stage, they win the game. Okay, well, I think we just ignore those. And we will sneak attack. Paramir in. Then we will exhaust Paramir to give these guys plus one to willpower. Then uh, we'll quest. So we are questing against four. So I think I'll quest with all of them. So we add one with the note and tracker. Then I'll discard a card, use the silver harp to not discard cards, discard again, and discard again for the uh, Elvin. Then we'll discard one card uh, to <coughs> boost Elvin even more. So I'll just actually do this, so I remember. So those are the pluses from the discarding. Then we'll uh, quest with Halbarad, Aragorn. Uh, this is minus one, no use, and this is minus one, no use, so... Mm. Uh, let's see... So, uh, we get two... Three, four... Five, six... Seven, eight... Nine... Ten, eleven... Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh yeah, and we removed one because we don't want to. So, so 28 against 4. Okay, well, this is for the elves. Assign X damage among characters you control. X is the number of quest cards in play. This so we need three damage. I'll put all of it on here. Then uh, we get another wind search and weather hilltop. Okay. So 28 against five, and we beat this quest. So we put like. 23 over here. And that is the quest. So just double checking. Um, so if the players defeat this stage, they win the game. We got 20 here. And I'm just double checking because this went pretty fast. So again, we got four from here. Actually, uh, three from here because there's one damage here. So three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 against 5. So uh, 25 actually. So even better. 
and that is the scenario beaten. So, well, uh, that went pretty well. Uh, on my first playthrough of this scenario, um, we got really unlucky. So, let's see. Did I miss something here? Oh, yeah. While Ammon Forn is active location, it gains force. After an orc enemy is added to the staging area, it makes an immediate attack there against the first player. Players cannot win while Ammon Forn is in play. Well, we have a lot of here. Uh, threat here will travel over here. So, we'll actually have to still fight this guy. And next turn, uh, just go through this. So, we didn't win yet, but we are pretty darn close. So after the exploration phase, uh, we'll return Faramir to our hand. No enemies to engage, we'll fight with what we have here. So we'll add, uh, we'll defend with the snowboard scout. And uh, we'll get a shadow guard. Either raise your threat by three or this attack is considered undefended. We'll uh, Raise our threat by 3, so we're at 40. And this guy is defeated, and Aragorn will defeat this guy. No Aragorn, but uh, Amart will. And also will attack with both of these, so we have enough. Okay, uh, we'll go to the refresh phase. Just checking, do we have anything nasty over here? So at the end of the refresh phase, raise each player threat by two. Well, still have enough time. And uh, when revealed, Kronok and put in play gate them. Okay, I, that that's the one I missed. So I'll search the encounter. Oh yeah, and we needed to shuffle this whole thing here. Yeah, uh, and and this box. So, I'll just search for a couple of these one. So, we'll, we had these orcs in play. And they hit. So, actually, we defend with this guy. It gets defeated. And uh, we remove a few from here, and let's say this is defeated. Now uh, we'll defeat this damaged one. Yeah, uh, making some uh, mistakes because I missed that orc ambush when revealed. Uh, keyword. Actually, it came into play, so I'm not even sure. Have, would we have needed to add those orcs, but it's what it is. So, yeah, I think that's it. So we uh, raise our threat by three. One, three, so 42 and 43. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, the Dunedain are the first player this round. We'll get cards, resources, and um, we'll actually forgot to do the refresh phase. And uh, well, uh, we added the threat, but we forgot to remove the counters. Okay. So, uh, basically we need to uh, quest for five to get rid of this and win the game immediately. So, what we, uh, we will do is we'll play Faramir. And uh, that is everything we want to play from that side of the board. We'll go to the elves. Oh yeah, we draw one card. We'll play this. We will go questing. We'll remove this. And... Uh, 
Oh yeah, we removed one, two, because we defeated a couple of characters. We still have one, so we can still beat the scenario. Uh, Faramir will boost the elves. All of the elves will quest. Place one here. Oh yeah, these are removed. Uh, this one, well, that quests because we have the engaged enemy, but no point in questing with that guy. So we have two, three from the Dunedain, then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We discard one for Elvin. 24, 25, 26. Encounter cards are for the Dunedain. Uh, assign X dummy summon characters committed to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. It is only one. So Aragorn takes one. And. Uh, then we get an concerned orc here, so that is plenty. So we'll just destroy this. This goes out of play, and the rest goes onto that. And we win the scenario before we need to fight more orcs. So uh, that is the scenario beat. So that is that. So yeah, uh, these two decks work pretty well. Uh, the Northern Tracker is really good if you get swarmed with locations and you can't find orcs. This time we were pretty lucky to find orcs early on, and this quest didn't drag on for too long. Um, the not to be able to heal was a bit annoying, but it is what it is. And uh, we still managed to get a bunch of allies in play with the elves and quests patiently, and keep the enemies uh, out of our hair with the Dunedain. So uh, that is the better kill scenario or quest completed. Hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.